Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do this effect here of basically having an object come out of a block of smoke and have the smoke cover it like this. And this was another render that I did um, just to give you some ideas of what you can do. And this is the video of it moving like this. And uh, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jesse and I've been making a lot of tutorials which you can check out on the channel. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future content. And as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the content. So this was my final scene in Max. You can see that basically I was just trying to come up with some kind of an effect to demonstrate um, the technique of starting a simulation with an object that's already filled with smoke. So I have this box here, which is completely filled with smoke. And then I just animated um, this iPhone um, to emerge out of it. And you get that nice interaction um, with the smoke. So I'm just going to set it up on the side here from scratch for you guys. So you know exactly what I did. So basically you can go under Phoenix and create a regular grid like this and then let's create a regular box like this and make sure you right click and go to Phoenix FD properties and make it not a solid object and then right click again go to object properties and make it not renderable and then make it display as box and then we can go under helpers Phoenix PHX source and Add the box as your source and for the emit mode we want to do volume brush and set it to 100% so basically we're telling Phoenix fill this box completely 100% with smoke at the beginning of the simulation um, then you can set the temperature to 400 and everything else can stay the same here and then for the settings you would want to do at least two steps per frame. In my example here, I only did one step per frame and this way you get a little bit of a flicker here. And also whenever you have a fast moving object, you want to do more than one step per frame. You could do three or four actually in this case, um, just to make sure that the smoke will interact with the phone better. And then you also have some smoke on top of the phone because right now the steps per frame are too low for the smoke to even like register above the phone. So that's something you might want to play with. And also you can raise the quality to about 16. And this way you'll get some nicer and longer lasting swirls in the smoke. So at this point, this is the basic setup. It's super simple. So I'm just going to delete this and switch to my scene here because you already know how to do that. So basically what I did was I animated the smoke buoyancy to go from minus 0.7 from frame 0 to frame 25 and then from frame 25 to frame 40 it goes to minus 3 and then it goes from minus 3 to minus 4 from frame 40 to frame 80 and this is just because in the beginning I want the buoyancy to be still going down I don't want the smoke to be rising so you can see that it basically starts falling down um, but it's not too aggressive so that the phone can still pick a lot of that smoke up as you can see here so the smoke is not being pulled down too much it's only at minus 0 0.7 and then as the phone rises i really want the smoke to disappear and start falling down faster because i want to reveal the phone so i just animated the buoyancy to get lower and lower over time so just to make sure that the phone is revealed uh, at the end so if i kept simulating this further eventually the smoke would completely um, fall down um, but you might want to increase that even more so it is revealed faster again completely up to you i just want to give you guys some ideas and show you how i made this i didn't change anything else here uh, but what you want to do is go under rendering volumetric options and change the color of the smoke here to whatever color you would like so we can just change it to blue just for fun right now and then um, what I did is raise the opacity from 0.5 to 1 
So I raised it to one just so that more of the smoke would actually show up in the render. At, at 0.5, some of these edges might be invisible or just barely visible. So that helps. And then I just have these few lights illuminating the scene. I believe that the top light and this light are not illuminating Phoenix. So I just went under exclude and I excluded the smoke from the light. Um, so the smoke is actually only illuminated by these, by the right and the left light, as you can see here, and the middle is kind of in the shadow, while the phone stands out more because it's illuminated by two more lights, the one on top and the one on the side here. Um, so super simple setup. And then for my actual rendering resolution, I did uh, 20 million cells at 0 0.51 centimeters all of the walls are jammed um, so that the smoke will eventually bounce off the ceiling here. And uh, it was taking anywhere between three to four minutes per frame to render this out, just so you guys know. So really not too bad. So I hope that you guys found this little tip helpful. You know, definitely play around and see what kind of cool effects you can do with your object emerging out of smoke or maybe you could have the object disappear into smoke. So thanks again guys for watching. And by the way, we just reached a thousand subscribers today. So thanks so much for the support. That's really awesome. And I'll be back uh, soon with another tutorial.